Hello class, we will now discuss the parts of lock stitch sewing machine. Watch and listen carefully to learn the specific parts and their uses. For the upper part of the lock stitch sewing machine, the arm. Spool pin is the thread holder. Thread guide keeps the thread in position. Thread take up lever releases the thread and interlocks with the bobbin thread. Presser bar lifter moves the presser foot. Tension controls the looseness and tightness of stitches. Needle bar holds the needle in place. Needle clamp holds and tightens the needle. Presser foot holds the fabric in place while sewing. Needle is a slender tool attached in the needle clamp used for sewing. Bobbin winder controls the bobbin while winding thread. Stitch regulator checks the length of the stitches. Balance wheel sets the mechanism in motion. Belt connects the balance wheel to the drive wheel. Stop motion screw hinders moving when loosened and starts. For the second upper part of the lock stitch sewing machine, the bed. Feed dog moves the fabric while sewing. Throat plate is the windows of the feed dog and it is where the bobbin threads come out. Slide plate is a movable plate that covers the shuttle and bobbin case. Shuttle holds the bobbin case while sewing. Bobbin is a metal spool for winding thread. Bobbin case holds the bobbin.
for the lower part of the sewing machine. Band wheel leads the balance wheel through the belt connection. Band wheel crank moves the band wheel. Pitman rod holds the treadle to band wheel crank. Belt guide holds the belt to its place. Belt shifter removes the belt from the wheel. Dress guard protects the dress from the wheel. Treadle is where the feet are stationed to drive the band wheel through the pitman rod. Legs support the cabinet of the machine. Cabinet holds the head of the machine by interlocking screw on the hinges.